Hello and welcome back to another story with Dixie and Dixie Storytime World. This book is called The Ant's Secret and it is a story about the importance of respecting animals and nature and in this case, ants. The day began in absolute chaos. General Ant, who was in the deepest part of the anthill, received a message about the imminent danger. At that moment, he was making sure all the food was stowed away properly. He quickly sent an order to all of the soldier ants. He did it by sending a special aroma signal that wafted through the many tunnels and caves in the colony. One of the signals reached the captain, who was guarding the chamber where the queen was busy laying eggs. General Ant hurried to meet the captain. They touched their feelers together and told each other everything that was going on. We have to do something or one day these kids are going to destroy us all, said the captain. Luckily we're safe down here and the queen doesn't need to worry. But things were getting complicated. Hundreds of worker ants together with the soldier ants were rushing through the tunnels. Take cover! Quickly! yelled the soldier ants. They're destroying the tunnels, said General Ant worriedly. We have to defend the storerooms. Those kids are after us, but I don't know why. On the surface, Chloe and Jack were having fun, poking sticks into the anthill. They did it whenever they saw a pile of sand outside, which meant that the ants had rebuilt their underground city. For them, it was just a game. See if you can squish them, Chloe, said Jack. Let's try and get them all, she replied. Inside the tunnels, the noise was terrible. The ants were terrified. It will take forever to fix all this again. But those kids don't know how strong we are or how powerful our jaws are, said General Ant. And they don't know how good we are at working together. All the emergency exits we've got all over the garden, said the captain, looking over at the queen, who was still laying eggs to make sure the species would never disappear. But we have to think of a plan so they'll leave us alone said General Ant, as he dodged the clumps of earth that were flying through the air. The next day, while the worker ants were repairing all of the damage, the General and the Captain went with a flying ant to visit the Queen to explain their plan to defend the colony. Do you think it'll work? whispered the Captain to the General. Just you wait and see. We have the biggest brains of any insect and our flying sisters are the smartest of us all. That night, the flying ant fluttered through Jack's bedroom window and landed on his pillow right next to the little boy's head. The little ant began to transmit powerful signals into Jack's head. There are more than 20,000 different species of us in all different sizes and colors, more than any other type of animal. We work as a team to help one another. We're very patient and we're very, very determined. We help to keep the environment balanced. We clean away and eat all sorts of organic matter and use what's left over to fertilize the soil. We eat bugs, even the ones in your garden. We pollinate the plants and spread the seeds. And we even end up as food for lots of different animals. Jack could clearly see all of the images that Ant was sending to him in his sleep. It was the most amazing dream he had ever had and the most incredible night of his life. When he woke up in the morning, he ran into his sister's room. Chloe, listen to me, never again, you hear me? We're never going to hurt our friends who live in the garden ever again, he said, his eyes as wide as plates. What friends? asked Chloe. Our friends, the ants, I love them. I love them with all my heart. Do you understand, Chloe? The end. So children, think twice before you want to go and destroy an anthill. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember to be good, be kind and I'll see you soon in the next story. Bye for now. Bye.